Hi, John Sawash here, and I'm going to show you how to set up multiple profiles in Google Chrome. This is a great thing for teachers to do so that you can keep um, your bookmarks, apps, uh, um, extensions, your browsing history separate for both your uh, school Google Apps account and your personal account as well. This is also a great thing to do for other members of your family who might be sharing a device so that everybody has their uh, separate settings in uh, histories and bookmarks. I'm in Google Chrome right now. I'm uh, working on a Mac, but um, these instructions will work uh, on a PC as well. You're going to open Chrome and go to the Chrome menu in the top right corner, the uh, three horizontal lines, and uh, go down to Settings. Um, lots of things in here, but uh, you want to go down to the People section. Um, and uh, if you're using one right now, it might say default um, if you've never set this up before. But you're going to go ahead and click on Add Person. Um, select uh, an icon. You can change it later if you want. And then give it a name. So the name should be probably either um, School, um, Home, Personal, uh, just something that you'll be able to easily identify. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that and click Add. And then it's going to prompt me to log in to my Google account. Now uh, you're actually signing into the Chrome browser using um, a Google uh, email account. It can be a Google Apps account or a Gmail account, um, whichever uh, you have and prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Google Apps account. And um, that will take me uh, to this screen here. You're going to see this if you log in uh, using your school's Google Apps for Education account. This isn't a big deal. All it's saying is that this is a managed account by an organization, and the data um, connected to this account will be available or visible through that organization. Nothing new there. You knew that already. Your school's, uh, your Google Apps account is provided to you by your school, and um, it's not your personal account. So it's fine to go ahead and say link data. And now uh, you've set up a um, account for your um, separate uh, Google Apps uh, account as well as your personal one. You can go ahead and start bookmarking and adding apps and extensions, and uh, they'll be attached to this account. Now to switch um, between your two accounts, um, it'll vary a little bit depending on what version of Chrome you're running. But uh, for me, I go up to the top right corner, and I can see right here it says my name and then the account I'm currently logged into. I can say switch person and it will show me all of the profiles uh, set up and I can toggle between them. Uh, if you're running a little bit older version of Chrome, you might have to go to the top left corner of Chrome. You'll see the little icons there. And for um, Mac users, it also usually appears on the, uh, the right side. Once you have your Chrome profile set up, it is a good idea to go into the settings once again. Now you'll see I have the two separate profiles. Um, and I'm going to go up to the top where it says Signed In. And I can go to Advanced Sync Settings. Here are all the things that you can sync to the Chrome browser. And it's worth just uh, taking a look at those and confirming that you do indeed want all of those things selected. Um, Perhaps uh, you don't feel comfortable having all of your passwords saved. So you can just select the choose what to sync and uncheck the password um, box. Um, you can do that for all of your uh, profiles. So maybe for your personal account, you do save passwords, but for your school account, you do not. You have that granular control. Setting up um, a passphrase uh, down below is a good idea if you log into many different computers. Um, what this does is it adds a second password onto your Chrome data so that even if someone was logged into your account, your Google account, they would also need um, a second password to get access to your Chrome data, which would have your saved passwords, histories, etc. That's a good idea to do, again, if you log into many different computers. Um, just uh, you know, obvious uh, word of warning, don't use the same password. Uh, if you do that, you're not really setting up an additional layer of security. Google Chrome is a wonderful web browser. It provides you with a lot of uh, awesome uh, features. Uh, the Chrome apps and extensions are great, um, but it's a good idea to set up multiple profiles to keep your personal and your private browsing data, histories, and settings separate.